I mean, look at Idol. What happens? It, it's, it's seeing is, is believing. And so many artists, in fact, that's how I started doing my, uh, working with artists, my live music producing, um, is I would get artists ready for showcases because they'd spent just tons of time, sometimes years. At this time, this was a few years ago, um, there was a, a one group I worked with that literally, I'm not exaggerating, had spent hundreds of thousands of dollars, had an investor, and they'd send the stuff off to the labels, and the labels would say, yeah, yeah, we like it, keep in touch, and they're being honest, well, you're on to something, but send us three more songs. Well, at that time, recording songs was, you know, $12,000 a song, $20,000 a song, big two-inch tape. So they'd record three more songs and send them off. And finally, after two years, they finally got somebody to come out and see them. And they realized, oh my gosh, we've got these great songs, but we're just very average live. And I can't tell you how many times I've seen artists at showcases. In walks a record company president. And after a song and a half, and it's always in the middle of the song because you can't stop the song. They stand up, they wave, they shake hands and say, have your people call my people, and they walk out because they did not deliver live. You know, it's back to the restaurant idea that I talked about earlier. You can put ads in the paper. You can put lights to the sky. You can tell people it's the greatest place in the world. But what's going to generate revenue is when people come in the building, they experience that connection, the food is awesome, the people treat them right, it's an experience, and, and they walk out, what's going to happen? They're going to come back. They're going to come back. You know, when I uh, go into a town and I ask people, because I travel a lot, um, I say, so listen, I'm here one night, where should I go? I never have ever had anyone say to me, listen, I know this very average or mediocre restaurant around the corner. Let's go there. Never have had that happen. They're always going, listen, it's a hole in the wall, but it's awesome. Or there's this great, oh, amazing atmosphere and the foods. They're always telling me what's the best in town. And the same thing happens with an artist. You got to see this artist. But if you don't deliver live, it, um, you keep spinning your wheels and can't understand. I'll, I'll finish with this. In fact, just yesterday, it's the truth. Uh, we just got an email from a guy, and he said, uh, I'm going to try and quote him. He said, um, when's your next workshop? He goes, I just did a contest, and I finished fifth, and I'm way too good to finish fifth. I can't figure out why it's not working. When's your workshop? Because it, something is not connecting with the audience. He may be a brilliant player with brilliant songs, but if the audience doesn't get it, nobody wins. May have the best voice in the world, but if no one gets it, it, it it's useless.